Hey guys, welcome to the Without Parole Complete Survival Guide for Five Nights at Freddy's on VR. Today we'll be sharing tips for Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 3, all the mini games, as well as hard mode, so that you can see more of this and less of this. So without further ado, let's begin. We begin with the original Five Nights at Freddy's. From here, you'll manage security cameras, trap doors, and lights, but you'll want to use them sparingly, otherwise you'll run out of power. The objective here is just to survive long enough until 6 a.m. You'll have a total of four different animatronics on your hands. Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and after night three, Foxy. Bonnie and Foxy will only attack to your left side, and Chica and Freddy will only attack to your right. Let's start with Bonnie and Chica since they're the easiest. For both of these, I tend to rely more on just the footsteps alone as they close in on you, because you can clearly see them in the cameras and you can catch parts of their bodies and arms in the doorway before you have to close it. But you really just have to be careful about Chica, because if she's in your window and you open the door, she'll still attack you. Next up, we've got Foxy who can be a real pain if you don't know how to deal with them. You'll want to keep an eye on 1C, which is also known as Pirate Cove. First you'll see him peek through the curtains, get up close to the camera, and then disappear. And as soon as he does, he usually comes charging, which you can hear by some really quick footsteps. You'll have to be really quick to close the door before he gets there. And as he does, he'll claw at it and it drains power every time. Try and wait to the very last second before you close it, and as soon as the clawing stops, open it immediately, unless Bonnie's there, of course. You want to make sure you know where Foxy is at all times, because you'll have barely any time to react. Night 5 is where things get really tough. Not only are the animatronics going to be more aggressive, but every 20 seconds or so the doors are going to open and shut about 4 times. At the end of this, the lights will also cut on, so be ready to turn them off immediately. If there are any animatronics outside your doors, and these doors open, they've got you. If the doors open and close, be sure to turn off the light and then look at camera 1C to make Foxy descend upon you faster. If Freddy's to your right and the doors are getting ready to open, try to look at him at camera 4B long enough for him to go away. You can also try flicking the lights, but I recommend saving the power. If you know that Freddy's not around, go ahead and open the door for about 5 seconds at a time. But be really careful when you do this, because he can show up at any second. You can still make it if you run out of power and the clock strikes 6 a.m., but the coast has to be clear. And that's it for game one. Just always be sure to conserve as much power as possible. Always know where Foxy is, and keep that door closed on Freddy. Next we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which the first thing you'll notice is you no longer have doors that you can close to keep yourself safe. Instead, You'll have one big hallway in front of you, followed by two vents on each side. But don't worry, this one's actually the easiest of the three. There are three key things that you need to note in order to survive. Basically, the strategy here is to constantly spam the lights so that you can check the vents on the side, as well as get rid of Foxy in the hallway. You want to also keep your finger on the music box to charge it on camera 11 the whole time. Don't even worry about the other security cameras.
The second you see anything pop up in the vents, put on the mask immediately and wait for it to go away. However, during this time you won't be able to charge the music box, so pay attention and keep it up as much as possible. This will prevent the puppet from coming out of the present box, who can get you even if you're wearing the Freddy mask. Whenever Freddy comes down the hallway, he'll sit and wait at the door for a little bit. Just let him sit there until he eventually starts walking into the room, then put on the mask. You basically just have to repeat this process until 6am, and that's all there is to it. It's also basically the same thing for hard mode, except it's going to look a lot different. Next up, we've got Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and there's good news and bad news. The bad news is, this one is probably the hardest of the three and has the most jump scares. But the good news? It can Hello. be beaten, I guess? Okay, so the good news is that there's only actually one enemy that can kill you, and that's Springtrap. There's also going to be appearances by different phantoms, which we'll get into in just a minute. You'll be back to monitoring security cameras this time, and you'll also have to manage covering different vents, as well as rebooting different systems that go down. As stated by the phone guy, Springtrap is lured to the sound of children. Luckily, you're given a button that cues the sound of a little girl's voice, and that can be used to lure Springtrap away from you. The downside to this is that there's also going to be vents that Springtrap can use to go directly to you. So the strategy here is basically going to be to lure Springtrap as far away from you as possible, but also checking for any potential vents that he can use as a shortcut. You're going to want to seal these off immediately. As stated before, the phantoms can't actually harm you, however they will make you jump like crazy, they're basically everywhere, and every time they do, they're gonna take your systems down, which you'll have to look to the left and reboot. If Springtrap gets to you through the vents, you're pretty much done. However, if he makes it down the hallway path, before he attacks you, he'll be sitting there at your doorway for just a little bit. If he makes it there, then immediately switch to camera 1 and trigger the girl's voice to try and get him into that room. Phantom Foxy can also appear in the corner of your office, and if he does, just keep your head down a little bit while you're looking at the reboot system and he won't jump at you. Just do your best to monitor Springtrap and lure him as far away as possible using the girl's voice, and also be sure to close any vents that are nearby him. Also do your best to steer clear of just randomly looking at different monitors because there's going to be phantoms all throughout the building and if you look at them, they're going to jump at you and take your system down. Once you get to hard mode, Springtrap's going to be a lot more aggressive. There's also going to be a lot more phantoms and they're going to be spamming you with jump scares like crazy. I had the most success by keeping him at cameras 9, 10, and 5, and closing off any vents nearby. Also on hard mode, I basically just hit the reboot all every single time. I didn't even worry about rebooting each device individually. Again, you just gotta survive long enough until 6am. Well, I hope you found success using those tips for Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 3. Now, let's get on to the minigames, starting with Dark Rooms. First up, we've got Plush Trap. The goal here is pretty simple. All you have to do is keep your flashlight off of him long enough to let him advance towards you, and then eventually catch him with the flashlight on top of the red X in front of you. You'll also only have 90 seconds to do so. The easiest strategy here is to just wait about 6 or 7 seconds at first until he gets close enough to the door that's immediately on your left or right. Once he gets to one of these, wait no longer than 5 seconds and then hit him with the flashlight and he should be right there on top of the X. Next up, we've got Nightmare BB, also known as Balloon Boy. This one's going to be pretty much the same as Plus Trap. Just use the same method of waiting 6 to 7 seconds at first, and at the very end, wait 5. The main difference now is going to be hard mode, in which there's going to be balloons all over the place now. 
Funny enough, you can actually use the balloons to your advantage here. Whenever BB's getting really close, just look for the silhouette of the balloon to go straight up above you. As soon as that happens, hit him with the flashlight. Next, we have Plush Baby, which I gotta say is definitely one of the harder ones. There's gonna be three of them attacking you, and if you shine your light right off the bat, they're gonna go ahead and start their assault. So just go ahead and wait a second, wait for their laughter before you begin looking for them. The trick here is gonna be a couple different things. First, you're definitely gonna wanna know all the different spots that they can attack you from. I'll go ahead and mark them here. You're gonna be really limited on battery life here, so you can only tap the button for the flashlight really quick and then shine it across as much as you can in that quick second. Instead, save holding the flashlight down for when you need to get rid of one of the plush babies. If you're lucky, you'll have a quick second or two to let the flashlight charge right after you get rid of one. Just know all the spots, be as quick and thorough as possible, save as much battery life as you can, and if you hear a noise, it's definitely coming for you. Just when I didn't think it could get any worse, then I saw the hard mode, where everything in the room is replaced by plush baby dolls. The strategy is exactly the same, except they're going to be a little bit more aggressive, and the way you spot them is going to be with their green glowing eyes. Next up, we've got Funtime Foxy. This one may not be as hard as the plush babies, but believe me when I say it's pretty much just as stressful. The objective here is going to be to get to the end of the room without getting caught by Funtime Foxy. There's two important things to note about the strategy here. One, you want to move diagonally. Two, you have to flash your light every five seconds. The easiest method I used to get through this was looking at the wall to the left and moving diagonally towards it, flashing the light every five seconds while looking to the right. Do not move while you flash the light, otherwise Foxy will get you. Continue to do this all the way up until you reach the wall, and then face the right wall and start moving diagonally that way, flashing the light every five seconds and looking to the left when you do so. And again, don't move when you flash the light. Just keep using this diagonal zigzag pattern all the way up until you get to the exit sign. Once you get behind Funtime Foxy, you're in the clear. The other thing to note is to don't flash your light too close to Foxy. Move back if you have to, and also don't be too fast about it, or else he'll get you. This same method can be used for the hard mode, however you're going to notice that there's a couple more obstacles this time. Then close up the face Next up, we've got Parts and Service. I'm not really going to go too far into this one because it pretty much tells you what to do. Just listen to the instructions. Also, be sure not to touch anything or drop anything well and you'll be fine. I just want to add also though task. that the hard so mode levels right for right. these look awesome. To Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Next up, we've got Vent Repair, starting with Mangle. This one's pretty quick and easy compared to most, and all you have to do is just basically shine your light on Mangle while turning the knobs, pushing the buttons, cranking the levers, and then the only other thing is a little Simon Says puzzle to the left. After you get this, you're done. The hard mode is pretty much the same thing, except this time you'll have to be a little faster because you have to deal with Phantom Mangle as well. A perfect 72 degrees. Good job. See you next time. Room. Next we've got the vent repair level for NART. For the first section, all you have to do is find the device with the red light on it, use your flashlight to follow the cable all the way to the well button, done. and do it in order. Once you get three of them, just go ahead and press the fourth one. The next section's a little bit trickier. Motion trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft.
Well done. The final section only has two puzzles, but they can be a little tricky as well. You basically just have to rotate all the connections and pipes so that the gas goes through. Well done. Well done. All right, you're getting near the end now. After all this time, you may want to think about taking a quick rest. You know, there's only so much your heart can take. Well, if you're ready to continue, then so am I. Let's go ahead and get to the last section of mini games called Night Terrors. Starting with Funtime Freddy. These minigames can be a little confusing at first, but are actually pretty easy to beat. All you have to do is just continue to shine your light and keep the little toy bonnies away, and then move door to door and shine your light down the hallway to see if Funtime Freddy's coming. If you see him, just make sure you hold the door shut on him until he goes away to the other side, and just keep repeating this process. <laughs> Next, we've got Nightmare On. This one's going to be pretty similar to Funtime Freddy. You'll basically end up using the same strategy of running back and forth between the two different doors. Every time you do, check down the hallway and see if you see a pair of glowing eyes. If you do, that's Nightmare on and go ahead and close the door right away. Instead of flashing light down the hallway, use it instead to check under the bed, the ceiling, and the closet to keep away any creepy little tentacles that are popping out. Continue this process as you move back and forth checking down the hallway for glowing eyes, and if you don't see it and hear squishy noises, check for tentacles. If you don't see any tentacles, then run to the other door immediately and get ready to shut it. Don't let his horrifying demeanor get the best of you. He's actually pretty easy to beat. Next, we've got Circus Baby. Make sure you close the door before she gets right up to you, otherwise she's got you. The other thing you want to check is the little plush babies inside the closet with you. The longer you hold the door shut, the more they're going to start trembling. Once they get really out of hand, then it means they're about to attack, so let go of the door immediately. If Circus Baby is still there, then she's either got you or you have a half a second to close that door again. Luckily, this is all there is to it for Circus Baby. Finally, we've got Nightmare Fredbear. This one's going to basically be the same strategy for Funtime Freddy and Nightmare On, but this time you'll be moving across the closet as well. Luckily, Nightmare Fredbear's got some really loud feet, so just go to the closet, close it up, and listen to which direction he walks in. Whatever direction he goes, run to that door and close it immediately, and wait for him to walk away. Just continue this process until 6am and then you're good to go. All right, well done getting this far, but you're on the home stretch now and you're not done yet. After you complete all the hard mode levels, you've got one last level to complete, and that's the pizza party. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one play out so that you can see the path as well as the ending for those interested. Thank you guys so much. This game has been one of my favorite experiences in VR and I hope it is for you as well. If you're an experienced FNAF vet or just have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And remember, for everything PSVR related, stay tuned to PSVR Without Parole.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, the only, 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 play, 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 play. Congratulations on completing the Freddy Fazbear virtual experience. You did an amazing job. You might be wondering if you missed anything or if there's anything left to see. So just take my word for it, you didn't miss anything and there's nothing left to see. We're looking forward to a fresh start with you now that we've all had a good laugh at these tall tales and now that you realize that Fazbear Entertainment is a safe, family-friendly brand with no skeletons in our closet. So goodbye for now, and we'll see you on the toy aisle. Bye-bye. 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 Take care now. It seems that, on multiple occasions now, you have disappeared from the authorized boundaries of the Fazbear virtual experience. We would ask that you not do it again. <laughs>